everyone, so today's video is going to be on this look right here, and as you probably saw by the title, it is all about brows, lashes, and lips. So if you like this look and want to see how I got it, please keep watching. Okay, so I already did my face makeup, nothing too special, because today's look is all about brows and lashes and lips. And starting with brows, I'm using a brow pomade like I usually do. Um, some people prefer a pencil, others prefer a shadow or a powder. So um, just use whatever you prefer. And everyone has a different preference when it comes to how you fill in your brows. Some like more natural, some like more dramatic. I like to think I'm kind of in between. I line slightly outside of my brows, but not too dramatically. So I'm just going to get started and show you what I do. So I load up my brush, and I'm just going to start in like the middle of my brow and you can see my brow hair ends here and I'm kind of going just about the width of this outside of that line and just do little hair like strokes if you just go like it's not gonna look how you want it to look so if you do little hair like strokes that'll help it look more natural and then go along the bottom and then just kind of go back and fill it in And if you notice, I still haven't really touched this inner part. I'm going to do that at the very end when I have a little bit of product left on my brush. Because if you fill in the front part more like you do the rest of it, it's not going to look right. Because your brows naturally are lighter in the very front. So I'll just kind of lightly go through them like that. And then comb through them. And then you can go through and tweak anything you want. And that's pretty much how I do my brows. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other one. Okay, so I went ahead and did a quick wing liner, just like I did in my last video, just because I feel like when you're wearing false lashes, you kind of need it, especially if you aren't doing any other shadow like we aren't today. So moving on from that, the lashes that I'm going to be using are these Ardell Curvies. They're the 415s. The first thing with lashes is to make sure they're the right length for your eyes, because if they're too long, then they're obviously going to be hanging past your natural lash line. So if they're too long, just take a little pair of scissors and trim them up. And then a lot of people have an issue with the glue because these little things like to squeeze out a big bubble and then you have glue all over your lashes and it's just a mess. So a way to prevent that is I just put a little bit on the back of my hand like that. And then And then take the end of a small makeup brush and just dip it in there and then run it along the band of your lashes. That way you get just enough glue. Like that. Another issue people have with lashes is they put the glue on the band and then they automatically want to put it on their eye. And it's just going to slide around and make a big mess because the glue is too wet. So what you need to do is wait about 30-45 seconds until the glue gets tacky. That way when you apply it, it will stay, but it's still wet enough to move around. So just wait 30-45 to 45 seconds. Kind of bend it so it'll curve to your eye. And then what I do is I just, using my hands, I set it down and kind of push it right in the center 
of my lid and then go over and push down the outside corner and then for the inner corner it's easier to use tweezers because it's so small and just go and kind of push that in and then just kind of I take the end of my tweezers so they're not sharp and just kind of push along and make sure that it's as close to your lashes as it can be and then I go through and kind of squeeze them together like that so while that's dry I'm gonna go ahead and do the other one Then I'm just going to go through my lashes with some mascara. Moving on to lips, this is the Urban Decay pencil in the shade Naked. And I'm just going to line my lips and fill them in slightly. Then for lipstick, this is from ColourPop, and it is the shade Feminist, and it is a very dark, bold, blackish purple, and I'm just going to put that all over my lips. Then because it's such a dark color and you can easily see any little wobbly lines on the edges, I'm just going to take a concealer pencil and this one is from Hard Candy and I'm just going to go along the edges and clean it up. Okay, so that is it for this look. I hope you guys like it. It's kind of a minimal effort, maximum impact kind of thing because for me what takes the longest is all the shadows. So by avoiding that, we kind of save time. And um, yeah, so this is definitely a bold lip, but when you're going with minimal things on your face, you kind of have to make what you do put on stand out along with these crazy lashes. So um, it's might not be for everyone. If you would rather have a pink lip or a red lip, go for it. Um, this is just what I chose for today. Um, I have purple hair, so why not? And that's all I have for you. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys like it, and I'll see you next time.